If you have been stuck trying to get your RC3 radio to talk to your newly purchased DJI O4 Pro or O4 Lite and even the goggles N3, you are not alone as I have been there. It is going to be pretty tricky at the first time. So today I'm just going to be saving you some time by showing you the step-by-step -step process. So listen carefully as this is going to be my 3-ear FPV experience consolidated into 10 minutes. All right, so before we dive in, there's gonna be a quick heads up. This video will only cover the binding process. So if you are looking for help with installation or a full setup guide, you're gonna to have to check the separate video link below for the step-by-step -step guidance. All right, so let's talk about binding. So to ensure your DJI gear connects smoothly, here are gonna be three key things that you have to make sure and to know. So key factor number one, your beta flight configuration has to have the correct setting in order for the O4 air unit to work with, to talk to your RC3 and also your goggles. So beta flight, if you're not familiar with all of this beta flight, it's just going to be a free software used to configure the flight controllers. So if you're using a PC, you can download beta flight from the link down below. Or if you have no PC, no problem, you can also use the CBDB app on your iPhone and it offers the similar functionality, so no problem. So number two key factor, equipment compatibility so compatibility for dji equipments is going to be everything and dji is kind of like yeah wishy washy they are just kind of like the gears isn't cross compatible between generation and that's how they make their money so this is no news but important to know that dji rc3 what we have right now this is going to be the rc3 it's only going to be working with the goggles 3 and goggles n3 all right so if you have the dji rc2 as i don't have one it's only going to be working with the goggles Integra or the goggles 2. All right, next let's talk about the air unit compatibility. So most goggles that we mentioned above are going to support both O4 and O3 air units. So this is going to be O3 and this is going to be the O4. O4 air unit Pro, O4 Lite is going to be the same. So the only exception is that the goggles N3 that we are having right here, this one is only going to be supporting O4 air units only and they do not work with the DJI O3. And that's kind of the bummer of this on goggles. But if you're just using O4, this goggle works perfectly fine as the goggles. So next and most importantly, you wanted to make sure that all of your firmwares are going to be most up to date in order for them to communicate with each other. So for the goggles, it's pretty simple. You will be able to update them via the DJI Fly app. You just have to connect them to your cell phone via the USB-C cable. And then basically the cell phone is going to detect the newest firmware and ask you to flash it. And that's going to be simple. As for the RC, either RC2 or RC3, whatever air units, you will have to plug it into the your PC and launch the DJI Assistant 2 in order to flash it. All right, so this is going to be the three key factors of the setup. And if you have these all correct, the mix of the binding process should be pretty simple. All right, so let's start with the first one. Let's actually go to our computer and we're going to finish the setup of the Betafly system. All right, so first we're going to come to our PC and I want you to plug in it via a USB cable, so to flight controller. So with your drone plugged in, I want you to connect the beta flight and we're gonna go to the ports tab. So at the ports tab, this is where we are gonna set up a flight controller so it can recognize the O4 air unit as a video provider and a radio signal provider. So what you have to do, because the ports that we're plugging in, in the plug that you have plugged in for the flight controller is on UR6, TX6, and RS6. So which means it's gonna be a UR6, so make sure you enable MSP. And if you want custom OSD, you're going to select VTX MSP plus display port. So this is what you wanted to do. And this one, since it has a serial-based EOLARS receiver already built in, you're going to disable the serial-based EOLARS receiver in, the, in order for the O4 air unit to kind of work because you don't want two receivers to work at the same time. Additionally, because we are trying to use the O4 receiver that is built into the O4 air unit, in this case, you're going to enable UR5. The reason behind is because we look at the dial diagram right here. You do have a SBUS cable that was plugged in and this is going to be the signal wire that is going to be for the flight controller to recognize this particular uh, signal. And since it is SBUS 5, it's also representing UR5, so you're going to enable the serial RX right here. All right, so once you're done, you can say, hit save and reboot. All right, so once it's reconnected, this time we're going to go to the receiver tab. So at the receiver tab, if you have a EORS drone, you're going to probably see the setting as serial based UR and it's going to be a crossfire. But in this case, since we're using the DJI receiver, we're going to do adjust this to S bus. And then you can hit save and reboot. Okay, so once these two steps are completed, we can go back to our bench and we can start the binding process. And we're, we're going to have to come back to the computer later to finish up the setup. But for now, let's bind the stuff first. 
All right, so once we have completed our setup in Betaflight, we can return to the bench. And this time, I want you to plug in your FPV drone. So let us sit aside. Make sure you use a fan to blow it so it doesn't get overheat. Next, we're going to power up our goggles. So to power up the goggles N3, you're going to press it and then long press it. And this is going to allow the goggles to power on. All right, so first thing first, once we have power up the goggles, you're going to go into the status menu and you're going to go to switch to the correct aircraft. And you want it to switch to the DJ-04 Pro Unit Pro as we're binding to the O4 Pro. But if you have the light, you can just switch to that one, no problem. So once you're done, just hit that one and it should be automatically rebooting itself. Okay, let's return. All right, so this is gonna be halfway done. Since we already bound it together because I do need to like launch it to show you in order for the OSD to appear. So yeah, but just to give you the process again. So what you have to do to set up the binding is you have to long press the power button. And then you're going to manually press, there is gonna be a bind button right here on the air unit, which is right here. Just gonna press it with a little tweezer. And after a few seconds, it should be bounded together like that. So after you have connected your drone to the goggles, you should be seeing footage like this. That's gonna be the first step. Next, let's power up our radio. So same, same process, short press and long press, it's gonna power it on. So to bind the radio, you will have to also do the same thing. So long press the goggle to make sure it goes into the binding mode. And then you're going to long press the radio button. Okay, so this is just going to be binding together like this. And once you're done, basically our stuff has been set up. So make sure you do it in this sequence. If you don't do it in this sequence, it's not going to work. All right, so with your color goggles, everything powered on. Let's actually go back to our computer. We're going to finish the setup of the radio. All right, so after we connected everything, this time we're coming back to the PC so we can set up the controller to the receiver. So make sure that the flight controller knows what switch is for what. So a very important tip right here is that you will want to make sure your goggle is also power on. You have to power everything on for DJI in order for the receiver to the radio to work with the receiver. If you just power out the radio itself and the, and the drone itself, it's not going to work. So that's something that you have to pay attention. And once you have confirmed everything is working, now you can go to connect to beta flight. So once we're connected to data flight, this time I want you to go directly to the receiver tab. So at the receiver tab, if you have connected properly, you should be seeing that you're getting the stick input. So throttle, yaw, this is going to be the standard mode two, pitch and roll. Okay, so once we're done with that, we are basically halfway done. Next, let's go to the most tab. So at the most tab, this is where we should be setting up our additional switches on the top so the drone can know like what is going to what button is going to arm what button is going to do like the modes so we're going to set up the most basic one so we're going to set up aux uh, we're, we're going to be setting up arm and the three modes angle horizon and acro so what we have to do right here is that obviously i already set it up already but just to show you you're going to, to change this to auto and then we're going to set up the arm switch to actually this one Oh, no, actually, we're just going to set up start and stop right here so it's making more sense. So what you have to do is switch it to auto and then you can just press it. So you can see that it already assigned the channel to aux4. Okay, so this is going to be on aux4. Okay, and as for the angles, horizon, this is where you can set up using the switch. We're going to set up this one, just adjust it to auto and then you can flip the switch. So you can see that at the bottom, we want it to be at angle. And at the middle, we want it to be at horizon. You can see the dot right here. And on the top, we want it to be at acro. So when you have nothing, it's going to be acro mode by default. So if you want to set up a different like location, like if you want the middle to be on app angle you can also just pull it here you can see that's going to be right here but you know, just make sure it don't have two modes at the same button so you know just yeah kind of the idea is that okay so what we wanted to do set it up to angle right here angle horizon acro and once you're done make sure you hit save all right so at this stage it is basically done but just to kind of like give you a bonus tip we're also going to go to the osd so the osd since we are actually selecting um beta flight pass through so this play poor pass through, you will be able to just, yeah, select the, you will be able to select the OSD you want right here. So just kind of like click it right here and make sure you select the profile one. So some work, some don't. So just, you know, kind of like the, but most of the case, 
the basic voltage, whatever it should be working. So yeah, just to give you a tip right here. And once you're done, hit save, and we are able to go back to the bench and we can see if it actually works in real life. All right, so we are back to the bench. Let's just quickly test to see if the setup has been working. So make sure your throttle is always at the bottom and you can hit the arm switch that we have set up, which is gonna be a starter sub. If everything's set up correctly, you can see that the motors, it's actually gonna be start spinning. And if you like raise it up, it's gonna to fly up. And then hit it again to disarm it. All right, so that's gonna be about it for this short tutorial. And if you have watched so far, first of all, thank you so much. Please type the word binding down below in the comment section so I know that you have watched so far. And thank you so much for supporting this channel. If you have additional questions or comments, leave it also down below and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, so happy flying and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.